Well, today is uh, March 5th. We are doing a regular advocacy and outreach special interest group meeting. We have several people on the call and uh, today we have special agenda uh, because we would like to discuss some joint activities with Continuous Delivery Foundation. One of the major topics we would like to have today is about uh, Continuous Delivery Foundation and Jenkins participating in JSOC uh, because we have two organizations participating and we would like to set up boundaries and uh, if possible to help each other so that uh, both organizations could be successful. Uh, we all, I also put some other topics to the agenda about the Jenkins area meetups, uh, operations, and about uh, online uh, Kubernetes uh, related uh, events for Jenkins, which we would like to organize. Uh, does anybody else have other topics? Uh, no, we can. I can give an update also on um, what we're planning to do uh, because. KubeCon is postponed. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have the final dates yet of when mm -hmm. that's going to be happen. Um, it's looking like the summertime, like July, August time frame. Um, mm -hmm. And then also Dan Lorek from Google. I don't know if you guys have been in communication, but he's trying to organize um, a, a contributor summit, but I don't know if it's just Tekton specific. Uh, so I need to follow up with him on that. Um, but yeah. that's also, you know, with with the coronavirus, I don't know if, if international travel is um, mm -hmm. going to be impacting people. So it was uh, that some at, uh, in Miami, uh, which was distributed uh, through channels, right? Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, I think so. He put. Uh, he sent out a a survey of dates that would work mm -hmm. um and i think it's it would be like i think it's like the last three weekends in april um but like i said i don't i don't know if folks are going to be impacted by by travel policies yeah that's, yeah, that's for sure um yeah uh, so we also had a quite sporadic uh, discussion uh, a couple of days ago about that uh, so we think about uh, doing online meetups, for example, about Jenkins and Kubernetes, because yeah, Jenkins uh, has online meetup platform. So yeah, and we have content uh, for Kubernetes related things. So we were just thinking about organizing uh, maybe an online meetup or maybe yeah, I think that's a webinars. great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's actually a really great idea because that's something that for the China event right now it's canceled. So we are looking into um, we're looking into web, yeah, online platforms basically to host um, virtual events. Uh, so I know Dan, the one that's leading that, so he's looking into into how much mm -hmm. that would cost to get get that set up for us. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that's a really great idea. Uh, so mm -hmm. I guess just a quick update on CDF. Right now, um, Christy and Rosalind, who are the co-chairs. They're sending out communication to all the speakers. So um, we're letting them know that, you know, obviously that the CDF is being postponed to the summer. Um, but we plan to go forward um, with the same uh, program. It would just change depending on people's availability. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically uh, the recommendation, uh, if we run an event like that, uh, I mean online event, uh, that we uh, have a different content so that we don't uh, invite talks from the CD summit or from KubeCon uh, main tracks, but instead of that uh, we find uh, other speakers, so we keep uh, the agenda for the summer, right? Yeah, I mean, I, ideally, uh, just, I mean, I, I guess I'm just saying that as an mm -hmm. FYI. Um, Mm -hmm. so. Okay, uh, yeah, it's well understood. I can say that uh, I'm part of the Kubernetes Contributor Summit and we're moving that to virtual. We decided to go with Zoom because it allows for breakout rooms. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea too. Uh, same with um, Jenkins, we use uh, the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, anyway, it's uh, something to discuss further because it was just an idea. 
um, but yeah, maybe we'll organize something, but uh, this something uh, will definitely be I, scale. I think this is a really good idea just because, for example, we don't know, we don't know much about the coronavirus, like if it fades out during the summer, kind of like the flu. Um, so I think it'd be good to just have a backup plan if CD summit doesn't happen um, because it gets canceled because of the coronavirus. So then at least we have, we can still continue with the event. We're just moving it virtually. Okay. So yeah, then. So I'll, see I'll also let you guys know because I think Dan was looking onto the on twenty four. I think that was the name of the platform. Mhm. Mm makes sense. Okay. So any other comments about this topic before we move on? This not. Okay, next topic I had is about uh, Jenkins Array Meetups. So full disclaimer, I understand the situation uh, is resourcing, especially taking the coronavirus and changes uh, in all other events. Um, so the situation for us is that we are still trying to recover Meetups. Obviously, we don't expect many Meetups to happen uh, in the short term because again of the coronavirus. Uh, but I just wanted to ask how can we help with that? Uh, because uh, if there is an opportunity to delegate some meetup operations for jumps uh, to the Jenkins community, I think it's something we could help with. For example, I'm working on some meetups in Scandinavia and uh, Russia, but just to recover okay. them. And uh, if I had uh, whatever official permission, et cetera, to work on them directly, if I was organizer of them, I would be able okay. to work on them without involving uh, um, the CTF operations team. So we could upload to these topics. So I, okay, uh, yeah, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I, just, um, I, I do have a quick update on that. I met with mm -hmm. um, our account manager yesterday and one of the things that we're trying to also do, um, so my entire budget for meetups is $25,000 for mm -hmm. 2020. Um, and so we just have to be mindful of like the types of groups that we add back because then we'll run out of money. Um, Cause we didn't, I didn't forecast high enough. Um, I thought 25,000 yeah. would be enough. So now that we're at 60 groups, um, mm -hmm. she gave me a quote that our next billing cycle is going to be about $7,000. Um, mm -hmm. So we are, for the year, we've already paid about 18000 or mm -hmm. we will be paying about 18000 So just FYI on that. So, But I'm happy to add you as an organizer for mm -hmm. those. Um, but I, I think that the way that we, we scale, let's be strategic about it because um, we can't fund all of them unless we figure out how to yeah. uh, how to get money for, for to pay for them. I totally agree with you and uh, I on the same page and actually uh, one of my uh, agenda items is to start thinking about meetups which are already recovered. The problem with the current situation is that for example you can take uh, this meetup in Stockholm, it has been recovered. The problem that uh, Orca uh, organization team wasn't recovered and right now, this meetup is just a dead weight because nobody can really do anything with that. And CDF is paying okay. for that. So that's why okay. uh, I'm bringing up this proposal that, for example, if you give me whatever formal blanket authorization to work with meetup.com support team, uh, I could just uh, handle these operations for meetups or maybe with, together with other, the advocacy and outreach SIG members. Because Okay. Yeah, our, my goal is to also reduce the cost. I do not have a goal to recover all meetups. Uh, yeah. But uh, the current situation is just suboptimal for everyone because CDF pays, but actually yeah, the meetup is still not operational. Yeah, so, no problem. Mm -hmm. Let me work on, on that. So, uh, yeah, uh, if I'm not sure how it will be implemented. If you just, uh, for example, send uh, a message uh, to meetup.com support and say that, uh, okay, Alec can handle uh, formal Jenkins array meetups, etc., on behalf of CDF, for me it would be enough. But I'm not sure okay. if it's something uh, you could do. Uh, 
Yeah, let me, let me ask her. That was the one thing I, I, I we forgot to discuss yesterday on the agenda. Um, but yeah, well, let me work on that. Nope, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, oh, thank you. And uh, yeah, the, the message about budget is well received. So basically, our uh, interest is to reduce the meetup numbers right now. Yep. Okay, I got it. Okay, and uh, last but not least, Jenkins and CDF and JSOC. So I guess Dan is still busy, right? Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Just put links for now. Okay, yeah, he's not answering, so he must still be on that other call. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we do? I can just uh, provide a review of the problems. Why I don't, see. hey, like, why don't, yeah. yeah, why don't you document all the issues that you see on the CDF, like, mm -hmm. mentor pages? And then follow up with Dan online because, like I said, um, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that we were we had applied. I got the notification when we got accepted, and it looked. I think it was Dan who applied on our behalf. So um, yeah, just yeah. just document everything, and then um, I, I think he'll be able to go and update that. Or the other mm -hmm. thing too is you can open a ticket. Why don't you open a ticket so it gets tracked? Yeah, so first, uh, the problem is uh, timing because I sent a message uh, basically when uh, CDF got accepted. I already listed some of the problems uh, in CDF Slack uh, with uh, yeah. Dan and CC. Uh, basically, he didn't reply at that point. And now it's, uh, it's March 5th. So student yeah. application period uh, opens next week. And if the issues okay. do not get uh, fixed by that, we will be negatively impacted as a Jenkins organization. And uh, in the case of CDF organization, you have a big problem because basically you don't have documentation, you don't have ideas list and whatever. I'm not sure that uh, JSOC is going to fly in the current state. Okay, uh, yeah. So that's I... why I asked for this meeting uh, because uh, we have a problem. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Dan is your, your point guy on that one. I'm sorry, I can't help. Um, mm -hmm. But he, so he, I pinged him already a few times, so okay. you might just want to see if you can give him a call on Slack. Oh, uh, meanwhile, we also have a potential student on the call for the uh, Jenkins X projects. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, Sladen, well, yeah. Biden, before, before I yeah. ask this question, so the Jenkins X projects that currently reside on the project ideas under the Jenkins banner, those will not be moving to the CDF. I just want to make sure that I'm correct on that. Yeah, that's correct. We had a meeting uh, last week. Kara uh, participated and Kara reaffirmed this decision. So Jenkins X project is known as Jenkins organization. Okay. Yeah. So, Sladen, I'm one of the potential mentors on that project, along with Kara and James. Yeah. Uh, so, I just so you know, this falls under Jenkins, not under the CDF. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Yeah, yeah, Mark, it's perfectly clear. Yeah, cool. so the Thank ideas you. are here. Yeah, yeah, there is still a non zero risk that somebody sends applications uh, to CDF with Jenkins projects. And if it happens, we will have to deal with it in April. Uh, but yeah, right now everything is just on the Jenkins side. Uh, so yeah, that have you on. have you guys gotten any applications, Oleg? Well, uh, do you mean have you received applications? Yeah, has anybody applied or? So official yeah, application or... uh, starts. Um... Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, so it's on the sixteenth. 
Yeah. Okay. So okay. you can uh, see that it's here. So it's March 16th. Uh, but we have, let's say, a few dozen uh, students who have already reached out, who made some contributions, uh, who submitted uh, uh, proposal drafts. So uh, Jenkins project is definitely running. Yeah. And uh, okay. we uh, got first contacts from students three months ago or so. So okay. uh, Jenkins project is running. Uh, for CDF, it might be a problem because, for example, I can show you uh, the problem here. Uh, you can go to the ideas list and you get to yeah. project life cycle, which I would say has nothing to do with GSOC project ideas. And this, yeah, for example, I have, I, have, uh, yeah. I have no idea who set that up. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's uh, perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, but today there was a contributor from Tikton project asking uh, yeah. in CTF Slack because they also got confused. Uh, yeah. If you get confused, you have uh, options. So, for example, uh, yeah, there are contacts. So, there is a contact uh, with CD Foundation mailing list in CD Foundation. Uh, chat mm -hmm. link uh, points uh, to Slack. And uh, well, it points to Slack, but it points to the link which uh, users who are not a part of this Slack cannot use. So you can yeah. enjoy this link uh, if you click. And the mailing list, uh, yeah, you go to the page, but uh, actually you end up here with, uh, yeah. So yeah. it's just main at least the CD Foundation. I'm not sure whether okay. there was any traffic. And this is what's creating all of them, like, like I said, mass Everybody's confusion. hanging. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, so let's, I'll call Dan if you guys can't get mm -hmm. a hold of him and let him know that that needs to be updated ASAP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just don't have access to it or else I would have just gone in and done it now. Yeah. Um, so. Same uh, if you just uh, uh, give access to me or to Marky, I believe that uh, we can uh, help to fix uh, critical issues. So, for example, technology labels, descriptions, so that we can cross link the projects. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let me. Use... Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll let Dan know. I'll call him right after we're done. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Sorry about that, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, things happen, but uh, if you participate in uh, JSOC as an organization, you definitely need to, to think about uh, ideas list because yeah, right now yeah. it's hard to student students. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we can uh, help somehow, we have uh, basically a basically 24/7 chat for JSOC and uh, Jenkins Gitter. So everybody from my CD Foundation uh, can join and we will uh, do our best to provide guidelines. Uh, cool. And uh, both me and Mark also in the CDF Slack, so we can help there as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Well, thank you, too. So I guess we cannot really do anything uh, with regards to this topic here. Yeah, OK. I'm going to drop off then. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we have Thanks. any other topics to discuss? I don't think we have anything. Tracy had to drop. I think our main thing was just getting the uh, mm -hmm. confusion ironed out for the yeah, right. programs. Uh, okay. So I do have one thing for Slayden. Slayden, I will be reviewing your doc today. I know I said I'd do it yesterday, but I got completely swamped on something. So I will be reviewing your doc today. Yeah. Same for me, I'm reviewing your Jenkins uh, applications. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on that already, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, sliding is quite productive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, since we are not focusing on outreach, uh, I think, uh, did you have a chance uh, to update Community Bridge project page? Because yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been, yeah. I've been busy with the proposals, yeah, so I'll get it done, yeah, I'll get that done. Okay, it would be much appreciated because uh, oh. we would really want to send out more content uh, with regards to Community Bridge. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, and yeah, we, I'm yeah, working, for example, a, yeah, I'm working on a case study together with Linux Foundation about our project, etc. So if we have all materials in good shape, it would be really great. Yeah, okay. sure, Oleg, yeah. I'll, I'll, we have as much help as possible. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, yes. Thanks all.
Thank you, everybody. I'll see you online. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot.